This is how you import products from AliExpress to your Shopify store. First of all, you will have to go to your store and to the apps and in there you're gonna go to the app store and in the app store you're gonna search for something named DS and you're gonna find an app named DSers, AliExpress Dropshipping and you are going to install that app to your store. You're gonna see a screen like this which asks you to install the app you're gonna click install when that is done you will have to create an account and then I'm gonna select the plan and I'm gonna select the free one just to show you how this is done on this screen they ask you to connect your Aliexpress account to their platform and you're gonna do that you're just gonna authorize DSers to use your Aliexpress account and this is it you have here your DSers account which is connected to your store so if I go to my store I have now the DSers installed in there, but to actually use the DSers you will have to go to their platform, which looks something like this. Now you have the DSers connected to your AliExpress and to your Shopify store and you can now import products directly from AliExpress and you can do that by using this import list, adding products here. So I have here open a uh, product that I think fits to my store. I'm gonna go and copy the link of the product that I want to import. I'm gonna go to DSers and to the import list and I am going to add the link here of the product that I want to import. Hit OK. Once the product is in here, I'm gonna click on this checkbox here and then I can push the product to the store. Of course, pushing the product to the store will open a new window. This is the store I want to send the product to and then I'm gonna check here the options that I find suitable and then I am going to just push it to the store. It's confirmed, now the product should be on my store. I should be able to find it in this list. And here it is here. I would not recommend publishing it directly because as you can see, it has a lot of things that we need to edit. I think you should take the time and edit a little bit the title, the description and everything else to make the product listing look like something on your store because as you can see here they've added a lot of images that don't necessarily need to be there on my store so i'm gonna head to products in here and i am going to find this product and i am going to go and make it draft so it's not published on the store anymore once you have it as draft you can go and change the title and the description remove all the images that don't fit i headed to chatgpt and i'm gonna give it the title and i'm gonna ask it to write something else for me i'm gonna take this title and replace this one we have here which is not necessarily the best one and here is the page now I have the images as they came from AliExpress. You have the updated title and we have the description down here. Of course, this is not a good description. You would have to rewrite this, uh, probably use ChatGPT to help you do that. And when that's done, you can separate these images. So you can separate the products by color and assign the variants the, the right color so that when you click on the variant the images changes that's the problem when you import products from aliexpress sometimes you don't get the images that you need you would have to order this product and take your own pictures so this is how you import products from aliexpress to your shopify store there is another way and that implies installing a chrome extension so you would need to use the chrome browser in this case you will have to go and install the chrome dsers extension i will add it to my chrome browser once you have the chrome extension here uh, you are going to see another button which is here and once you are on a page of the product that you want to uh, have on your store you're just gonna go to this button and add to the users. this will send it to the import list you're gonna open the import list. You're gonna see that the product was indeed added to that list. And to actually send it to the store, you will have to click on this button and then push to the store. You're gonna see again the window for pushing the product defaults. I'm gonna uncheck this because we don't want to publish the, the product directly. We're gonna publish it ourselves when we are ready with it. 
and you can see here that they have a collaboration with Lox, which is an, a review app. Uh, we're gonna talk about reviews a bit later. I have another recommendation for a review app, but Lox is also good. When you're ready with this, you're just gonna push the product to the store. And once it's done, you're gonna have a confirmation here. I can go to products again and scroll down to see if I have my product and it's right here. Again, with this imported products, you will have to update the title, you will have to update the description and if you can order the product and take your own pictures, make sure that everything fits your branding and you should be fine. Whenever importing products from AliExpress through the SRS, you're gonna have all the products that you've imported in here and you're gonna be able to manage your orders and fulfilling process uh, the tracking everything inside here in a nutshell this is how you import products from aliexpress to your shopify store if you're interested in e-commerce and shopify in general you should see this video next